pulling up to the side of the passenger. So she wants someone fly as her. Me a flyer than an astronaut. Never been caught like juggernaut, man, I'll stop up. Hello guys, welcome to Boxing Block Center, the home of Nigerian African Boxing. And please, if you're new to this channel, make sure you click the like and of course the sub subscribe right now. And also go to the notification bell icon, click it and select all. Turn up your new banger, a new exclusive video, you will definitely be notified. We have a very special guest with us right now, a guy who is of course known as the future of African boxing, represents Africa through and through, Nigerian born and bred, born in the trenches, came out from the gutter, did the impossible, shamed a lot of haters, got out of a toxic relationship with people that wanted to ruin his life. I'm very pleased and proud of this young man right here. Joshua Olua Sean Wahab, the wealth machine. We all know Wahab will be fighting on the undercard of Fury Usyk this upcoming weekend. Please, I want to let me let's say to my Nigerian fans, Nigerian brothers, go follow our brother right now on Instagram. Nah, Instagram be this one. Go follow on right now, man. Go follow on. So you look at the card right here, Usyk Fury card, Ring of Fire on the card. You have the main the main card, Lapin Pudvir, Pudivir, Chamberlain against Wahab. Chamberlain against Wahab. Chamberlain is a promising fighter, undefeated, and both are fighting um, for WBC Silver lightweight title. Um, Wahab is not a lightweight, he's super featherweight, but he's moving up for this fight. And I think they, they think he's, uh, he's food. But you know, with Nigeria, we got the, the guy go do us, guy go do. We'll show you, say, man, we'll not be, you know, you know, he's just play. Understand? If you do any here, you'll see any here. But I'm very proud of our brother, though. But this fight right here is a fight that he can definitely win. You know, I always support our brother. I've been supporting our brothers through and through. Each and every one of them. And I will continue to do so. Wahab, uh, come in, bro. Uh, first of all, let me say, how are you doing? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm fine. And thank you very much. You know, thank you to BBC. It's a pleasure to have me here. How is Saudi Arabia treating you, bro? Oh, Saudi Arabia is treating me nice. You know, everything is cool with our Lord. We are here, you know, for one of the historic boxing events of the year. Uh, it's a blessing for me. It's a blessing for Africa. And it's a blessing for my country, Nigeria. So I believe with God, everything is possible. Saudi Arabia is fine. So this is your first time moving up, you know, in weight. Yeah. So you are yeah. going to fight a guy in Chabalin who is a promising fighter, you know, has 15 wins and 11 knockouts. So basically, he's a dangerous guy, you know. And you yourself, you are very experienced. But this is your first time moving up in weight to yeah. challenge yourself because you know that you are that special fighter. You have 22 wins, yeah. you know, 16 knockouts. You know, only one loss. And I think that loss was a robbery. He was robbed in the UK. I will say that for real because I have been looking for that fight. To watch, to rewatch that fight, but I can't find it anywhere. Because when I watched that fight, someone sent me the highlight of it. And I watched it. I was like, how did the Alberta lose to this guy? Like, majority decision. How did it happen? And then all of a sudden, the video just got missing i don't know what happened bro so they knew what it did boxing politics but i want to say you know sometimes you have to take take a two you take two steps backward one step back and two steps forward and this is your mm -hmm. case right now 
you are very dedicated i'm very proud of you you know that i've always been a your supporter from day one and i will continue to do so uh, how does it feel to move in weight move up your weight um it's feel good you know um, one thing that, that helped me for the past almost like 10 years now you know i'm naturally light to it you know i'm naturally light to it so and i i stick to super feather for almost like 10 years now you know i've never i've never I've, I've been trying to maintain my weight because everybody can be a boxer but not everybody can make the weight people try to cheat but all my life i've been working so hard to maintain the weight so i'm naturally strong on that weight so moving up to light weight <laughs> it's just like you know just just like a blessing for me because the thought may be like oh super feather maybe like um i'll be small or maybe like i will not have punch or maybe like oh it should be an easy fight for him but he doesn't know what is coming he doesn't know so if you look at mark chamberlain for example as a fighter he's a hyped up fighter yeah. is a is a fighter that people in the uk see as the next big thing you know if you look at him now what do yeah. you make of him as a fighter you're looking at his resume and stuff like that he like you 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 have more experience than him you know you're natural you're natural lightweight but you've been uh you've been in the super featherweight division for over 10 years now right so your body is naturally used to busy cutting weight and stuff like that going through those hard hard work and hard labor you know what i mean you know diet stuff like that now you're moving up in weight to your natural weight yeah looking at chamberlain what do you make of chamberlain as a fighter have you been studying him studying this fight yeah i've studied mark chamberlain you know i feel like um that's one of things that like we africa that like, we need so we need support you know we can look like people like chamberlain that like you know the facility of where he's training the diet you know and everything it's from africa so um and him i see him like you know he's a good fighter i've never discredited any opponent they put in front of me but like i just felt like you know he just had an opportunity he hasn't faced the struggle he hasn't faced you know, anything. You know i haven't seen face any top top, top opponent apart from the last fight and that one too like the fight the guy did not even come to fight that's why he stopped in round four so I believe that, like, yeah, if I if I were to be in the UK to start my career in the UK past ten years, and now I could have had like maybe like a couple of IQ because of the current books that I fought so far in the past. So Mark Chamberlain, you know, I, I felt like he hasn't faced a strong boxer like me, or he hasn't faced a caliber boxer like me. So I think it's a big test for him also. So you know, it's a big test for me. But my my case is um you know, it's a big blessing for me to have a fight in the undercard of one of the one of the historic boxing events of the year so i think this is the time for me to show my talent and to show my skills to the world and i believe with god everything is possible so i believe god will grant me the victory. yeah man like he is no he is number one in the uk bro he's number one in the uk so is a south pole basically that means he's is a tree is a tricky customer you are out of those guys i don't know how many south yeah. pole you fought but i i think you will figure him out in the first two rounds or something it will be very interesting i would love to see all i want to all i want is all i want to see is just a good fight and i know that you work you'll be working hard for this for a long time first of all i want to ask you i was supposed to ask you before now why did you get into this card how did you get on this card and how did you feel when you got a got the call from your manager that hey mikey bidiaco saying are you ready to fight this guy how did he make you feel and on the i think this would be the biggest is the, the most is the most prestigious card of the year because the undisputed every championship about is on this card is the headliner are you you've been on the undercard is is literally like 
when I saw it, I was like, wow, I was so, you cannot, you can't imagine how happy I was when I saw your name, your face on this card right here, bro. I was like, damn, my bro, my boy got the, got, got the chance to show the world how good it really is, man. I'm proud of you. Thank you. Tell me how you, how you, how you felt uh, when you, when you got the call to be on the squad. I try. I feel I feel good when I got the call, you know. Um, this, this this is this is a dream come true, and this is God doing. This is God's plan because, not like maybe I'm the best fighter in Africa. Not like maybe like, um, um, I've, I've 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 done something special that like they have to call me on this. Show. But I be like, it's God, you know. I always tell people that when you walk with God, you just get to your destination. I've been working so hard all my life to be finding an opportunity like this. And if someone should tell me last year that like I'll have the chance, you know, I'll I'll, I'll, I'll doubt I'll doubt it. So for me, for me to be on God, man, I feel so blessed and I feel so good. And that's motivates me a lot that like, you know, I'm representing not only my country, Nigeria, I'm representing Africa. I'm representing all my struggle all these years. I'm representing where I come from, the storm, the struggle, you know, all, all, all the ups and downs I've been through. You know, people that have supported me from the past, you know, people that believe in me, I'm representing everything. Those things I put together on my mind, you know, physically and mentally, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm ready for this fight because I know this is a breakthrough fight for me, and this is this is where this is where I pray for for me to show the world my talent, and and God answer my prayer. Like I said, it is God who brought this fight to me, and I'm happy. I'm really really happy to be on this bill. I'm happy for you too. So you met with the two-time unified world king of the universe in Saudi Arabia earlier today, Anthony Joshua. I don't I don't know how the link up happened, but I I saw that you you was at uh, Mike Tyson Boxing Club there. There's a Mike Tyson Boxing Club there. Really, you trained there, and then you guys met. And I'm just wondering how did Joshua know you? Basically, because um you have not fought outside. You fought once outside uh out the the shores of Africa, right? And how did Joshua know that that like Joshua what does Joshua will have like? You know, the thing is, um, like I said, you know, um, in life, when God plans, things always fall in place. You know, I can see years back, you know, you've been trying so hard for me to get in touch with Anthony Joshua, you know, to, to get in touch with people that will help me from Africa because you, you supported my dream. You know, God bless you so much. You'll be supporting me from day one, you know, and that's why I'm, I'm so grateful to you. Um, you know, when I get to Saudi, I try to like, you know, we should go to my Tyson gym to, to train. So when we get there, you know, to surprise, and the water, you know, so when we get to my Tyson gym, me and my team, so when we get there and we saw him and he was doing his workout, you know, I was like, ah, that's my champ. So I was so happy. And he was a very gentleman in and outside the ring. You know, AJ was a very, very, very good, good gentleman. He is not only a champ, you know, he's a champ in and outside the ring. And he was happy, you know, seeing us rooting, you know, my 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 team, they put on my name, Team Wahab, the Nigerian flag is there and everything. So when I woke up and I said, Oh, you know, I've been I've been wanting to see him and this is a dream come true. I'm proud of him and all that. I'm a Nigerian and say, Oh Oh, nice, nice. He was happy and he welcomed us by my team. And he said, You know that I'm in Nigeria, you know. Uh, he was, he, he was, you know, he really motivated me. And he said, Oh, how's everything going? And he'll be coming, he'll be supporting the dream world. And he even showed me some skills and everything that, like, oh, wow, well, you should do like this when you're fighting a cyborg and everything. I was happy because I was a big fan of Anthony Joshua. You know, I was a very, very big fan. Even my dad also. You know, I've been following him for so long. He was happy. And he said, oh, I shouldn't worry that. Even tomorrow, we'll be at the same gym tomorrow also to train. 
So he's a good, he's a good champ. He's, he's people that is someone that people can look up to, and I'm blessed to to see him and to train with him. You know, to 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 learn one of the things from him. You know, and I told him that we are namesake. You know, he was happy. You know, I'm also bearing Joshua because of my name, Wahab Oluwashin Joshua. So AJ was so happy. He was so so happy. So we took some pictures with him. And everybody, you know, it was a very, very, very gentle, gentle man. It was a very gentle man. Man, I'm so, I'm so happy for you, bro. Yeah, I'm going to switch to PG now. For those of you guys who don't understand PG, I'm sorry about this, but you know, Nigerians, we have to go that way as well. So now, now, um, the fight now this week, um, yeah, this- you don't, you don't close your uh, uh, camp or you not go to the train small, small. The light train they do so a bit. We did it. See, we don't finish for all the camp training right now. We we'll get like this this week. You know the media, the media workout, the press conference, and the weights. So the rainy day. So what we just have to do right now, like just to maintain the weights, you know, to cut the weights, maintain the weight, and that's what everyone is doing because everybody's here. Everybody, both Tyson Fury, who's sick, you know. Everybody on the card, everybody is in Saudi Arabia right now. We always meet downstairs for dinner, for lunch, for breakfast, you know. And it's it's all good, you know, it's all good. Oh but why you show me why you show me that place where you did us now where they lodge you? Oh boy, yeah, bless you did paradise. Ah yeah, bro, so maybe small thing. We have money and we have Arab money. This is Arab money. <laughs> <laughs> oh well you where you there. Listen, man. What I want to tell you, say, man, you got to, you got to put on. I mean, when you get, a, you get a Niger flag for that. Yeah, Niger flag, yeah, bro. You, you, can, you can, you can, you can, you can enter ring. Ah, ah, bro. Even my clothes, eh, bro. Niger did there. She be see the photo shoot. You see the Niger ready for this thing. Even the top, the same thing, and the flag. You know, we are, we are representing Niger full, full Niger. Yeah, you need to, you need to, you need to carry them more. You need, you need to carry them. Because you know, I, yeah. I need to see you carry that flag, guy. Yeah. Because yeah. But listen, yeah. eh, usually if I want the world this kind of fight, I go wait till main event. But because of you now, eh, and because this the card good, the card bam, not be not be here. But yes, because of you now, me I go day, I go just day, can't we go watch? I go watch everything, yes. everything yes. because me I want to see you. In, do you know what? Do you know how proud I am right now, bro? You don't you don't even know how happy I am, right? Because you know if you know I feel I feel I don't know, man. They, they, they think, bro, I just remember what it happened a few years, like basically a few years ago. Oh, oh my god. Ah oh, man. Me, Ty, uh um, to me and Ty uh, and my Tom Tom, you know, um, oh boy. Like oh, I just remember bro, you know, I'm so fucking proud of you, bro. I so fucking proud of you, brother. I don't lie, you, man. Thank you, thank you, thank man, you. Man, like God, like... God will bless you. Continue to bless you. I know, say, man, we never feel link up all these times because you know, uh, you know, guy. you know the the busy no. board. I'm so let's say, I know, say, man, if you get time, you always, you know, let's you always let do this thing because you got other obligations. Yeah. But bro, mm. I want to say, man, I'm I'm proud of you. Keep on doing it. So okay, what's your what like uh what's your what's your mes- your message to Na- to Nigerian fans? You see all my to Nigerian, Nigerian African my African fans and uh, worldwide fans as well. First of all, to the Nigerian brothers, not that one first. Okay, to all my Nigerian brothers and sisters, my family and friends, you know, I want me gonna support you. This is your boy Wahab Oluwashim Joshua, aka Shionzi the World Machine. Please, I need your support. I need your prayer. I'm having one of the biggest fights of my career so far. So please, I'll need you guys to support me. You can support me on my on my follow me on my social media platform at Sionzi Wahab on Facebook, at Sionzi Wahab on Instagram, and at Olua Sion Joshua 10 on X app. So please, I want you guys to support me. You know, I'm humble and lawyer and I and I look up to become a world champion. Very yeah, sweet. man, you are you are two time uh, WBA African champion. So, yeah. also man, WBA Pan Africa and uh, w, uh, WBF uh, inter champion, inter 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 champion. Uh, 
So, I mean, I'm very proud of you, bro. I don't lie to you. So, guys, follow Sheon, uh, Oluwa Sheon Joshua Wahab. This is his Instagram, official Instagram right here. Follow him right here. Support him. I tell you right now, this guy is special. Let me see. Nah, let me see. I, I'm not saying it because like he's my brother or something like that you know but i'm saying it because the dedication of this god if you know the backstory of shion shion wahab man you would like you'll be like you'll be amazed by how this guy basically jumped through all the orders and stuff like that to 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 get to be where he's right now and he's just started that is what make this is what this is what makes it very 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 um exciting not just the beginning of this one so i will see more and more and more bro god bless you um i appreciate you any last word or you don't finish yeah um i just want to say thank you to everyone who tuned in god bless you and god bless baby for you know god bless you big bro god bless everyone that has been supporting the social media god bless everyone that's been supporting your program you know we are humble hallelujah and by his grace, we'll come back here to do an interview with the title. Thank you so much. God bless, God bless you, bro. bro. See you next time, yeah? Hey, bless God. Right, bro. Guys, you ready for yeah. our brothers? Shaozi, watch yeah, that bye. fight against Mark Chamberlain, and you will not regret it, bro. I tell you right now. Now, bomb, bomb. Now, we'll see what we go here when. Hey, bless God.